Welcome to Asana Solutions, YouTube's best place for everything related to Asana, process improvement, and workflow management. My name is Marky, and I am your host. And today, I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, the channel has been slowly growing, so thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your comments. Thanks for your questions. Thanks for uh, joining in on this journey. And if you haven't yet, go and subscribe. Um, you're gonna love the content. And if there is something that you're looking for that you didn't find here ask a question leave a comment I would love to do a video on it like we're doing today so the first question that I'm gonna answer I've been getting some comments from the community so thank you um, one is from Jessa Hill where um, we're gonna be talking about how to manage um, Asana and how to manage your clients within Asana the question specifically is could um, I suggest a video for Asana um, on how to organize several clients with their multiple projects in Asana yes we can absolutely do that today and then the second one is coming from Jody Williams she says that I've been trying to work with portfolios but I'm having a hard time finding best practices for adding projects when I'm in the portfolio sections and click add work it only brings up three projects so I would like to toggle so I'd have to toggle back and forth for the correct names of the projects which change monthly totally get it is there a way while in the project to assign it to a portfolio short answer is no Jody but I'm going to show you what you can do and what the best practices are for naming so that you can get those projects added to your portfolio with ease so I'm gonna fire up my my demo space here I'm gonna kind of show you what this looks like so um, to answer the first question around how to manage clients there are different ways that you can do it we're gonna focus on the left side of Asana here and I'm just gonna go in and you know add a, a team I've actually got a couple here and so maybe I'll just go in and rename them I'm just gonna call this one client one and I'm going to update that team and I'm gonna call this one client two so this is um, if you're doing any kind of like marketing or you know you have multiple clients that you're managing and there are different deliverables I would say this is the best way to manage them within Asana um, we like to invite all of our clients to the specific projects within their client team that makes sense for them so if we need approvals for anything or need their eyes on it if we're working in tandem we need that collaborative effort to be happening this is the best way to do it so what I would say is if we're focusing on client one here we have our sprint planning um, and I'm just gonna add another one here I'm just gonna create a blank project we're gonna call it marketing calendar doesn't really matter what these are um, there we go and so if you have multiple deliverables so let's just add another one let's just say we're going to be doing website dev for this same client as well you have multiple projects maybe we're doing um, their emails so we can say email marketing um, or maybe we'll just call it email newsletter right so we have multiple um, projects within there we can invite our our client to just one space we can share with them we can open it up to um, you know it doesn't really matter it could be anybody we can invite Frida to the project and you know there we go our, our clients in that one space they've now been added to the top level but if we wanted to we could remove them from seeing everything here and just make it so that they see um, the projects we want them to but that's one way that you can do it probably the best and easiest way if you have multiple deliverables um, and then obviously your other client stuff can you know stay out of that as well the next thing that I want to show you and actually I'll rename this one now um, is by focusing on it by deliverable if you have multiple clients and you're doing one thing say we have a client that does podcast repurposing and, and uh, republishing I'm um, sorry content repurposing and podcast publishing and so they have really one deliverable but multiple clients that they do it for so we could say podcast publishing would be the deliverable in this case um, if they had another one we could make another team we can call it content creation um, there we go and then that's another way that you could do it so now we have those two teams one is called podcast publishing one is called content creation what we can then do is um, we can go into our formerly monthly calendar and we can call this I'll just do short forms so um, podcast publishing and then client name one I'm just gonna copy that that's the name of that project and this one here too that's the name of that project with the second client and then we can do the same thing here right create a blank project 
we'll call this client name three just for fun and then we'll just add one more another blank project we'll call that client name four um, and I guess I should update these as well instead of just copying and pasting so our short form will be CC for content creation in this case Right, so that's another way that you could do it. And then you're basically bringing in that specific client project into the larger deliverable. It's important in this case that all of these are private uh, because you don't want different clients seeing what's happening next door and vice versa. There's a lot of privacy stuff there. Um, so I'd only invite the client to their specific project and we'd keep everything within the same um, project there. And so let me just recap on, on that second question here because uh, Jody was asking about how to add these projects to the portfolios. They change every single month. Great question. So what I'm going to show you here, Jody, um, is let's just create a couple more. Um, blank projects here. We'll call it um, month and then this will be called social calendar um, and then we'll have client client name there. There we go. So let's just say that this was a template we are firing this up from. Um, so in this case actually let's just do that for fun. I'm just going to make this a template Right, I'm actually going to delete this. Um, sorry, I'm not going to delete it. I'm just going to leave that there. So now that is a template. Let's move it up there so that we can't see it. But if we were um, to go in and you know go use a template, we're going to search for that one. There it is right there. Perfect. And what we're going to do now is we're going to rename it. So if they are changing every month, Jody, um, let's just say we're going into March now. We can go March social calendar client name one. Right, we can do that. And then if you do have another one, we can add it in, go from template, do the same thing again. Um, client name two, and again, it's going to be March. Right, we create that project. So the reason why I did it that way is because I want to stress the importance of naming conventions, right? So we have, um, in this case, if something is changing every single month, the best practice is if you're going to be adding to portfolios to make it searchable is to add that month right away, then add what the deliverable is and then add the client name. That's one way you could do it. The use case for you may be a little bit different, but this is how um, I found it to be best um, when it comes to these naming. So if we were to go to portfolios, I'm going to create a new portfolio and now we're going to call it monthly social calendars create that portfolio and it's going to show up here. There we go. And then we're going to add that work. So yeah, Jody, you're right. Um, if you were working with a few, obviously there's a lot of content in this space, in this demo space, but now all you have to do is just search up March. There we go. Right. We've added that one in there and then we go March right there. So it will bring up everything that's related to that keyword search. Um, so my, my suggestion here would just be, Make sure you're updating your, your namings. Uh, make sure they're consistent across all the spaces that you're using, all the teams that you're using, so that you can quickly add them. Because if, again, if I wanted to, I could go PP, right? There we go. And then I can go add another one, PP, right there. So it makes it really simple when we are being consistent. So just a little tidbit for you on how to better do that. So I uh, hope that helped. I hope that answered your questions. If a, if a question came up during this video and you're wondering how do I do this very specific thing, send me an email. Here's my email. Maybe I'll do it like this. There we go. Uh, send me an email. Leave a comment below. Um, I'd love to do a video on that and answer back in this format. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, and you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications as well. And do me a favor to just share this video, copy the link, it's super easy, share it with a friend, colleague, put it in your work email, newsletter, whatever. Um, that would help us reach more viewers just like you. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.